Hey YouTube, this is Timothy Leeds from Aztec Aquaponics. It's amazing the amount of information is, that is out there on YouTube with aquaponics. I'm new to the hobby and I will eventually scale up, um, but right now um, I just wanted to kind of experiment with some things. And uh, one of the th main things I'll feature in another video here, that um, it's uh, using Mr. Stackies, which is something that you can buy um, from Mr. Stackies website and also on Amazon and some other places and basically it's a tower grower um, and what I decided to do is I decided to come up with um, an aquaponics system using Mr. Stackies um, and it's very interesting to see the cycling and uh, so far my tank has been doing good um, my plants have growing well um, and as you can see there's a little picture of some of the fish I just simply have some goldfish and I think there's a Corey catfish in there. Um, but I wanted to um, kind of do something on cycling. Um, and one of the things that I found, um, there's a lot of information on um, safe and also prime. Um, and it's such a wonderful product. Um, but I just wanted to feature some of these things. Um, so um, kind of do a comparison between one and the other. Um, they both do the same thing. Um, but for some reason, the Prime eliminates um, my nitrite spike that I've been having here. So um, I'm going to do a water test and uh, do a side-by-side -side so you can kind of get a feel, um, you know, what, how each product works. What I'm simply going to do here is uh, just have a little container. I'm going to fill it up with some of my fish water just directly from the tank and uh, we will do this comparison between prime and safe. Being new to the hobby, especially the fish and also aquaponics, um, I was just really struggling with which the best thing to use, if I should use safe or prime. When I first started cycling my tank, I used prime all the time, um, and I used it up pretty quickly. Um, but it always kept the ammonia down and it kept some of the other, you know, levels at bay. Uh, when I ran out of the prime, I decided to go with safe. And safe was more concentrated and I was actually pretty happy with um, using it um, as I changed my water out. Because um, I was doing a lot of water changes um, as, my as my tank was cycling. There are a lot of you guys out there on YouTube um, that have done some comparison um, between, you know, Prime and Safe, um, but I never had seen, you know, side by side with the levels that I have in my tank. Um, I know that some have really um, gotten on YouTube and said, oh, I struggle with so many things. I, could, I tried this. I tried this beneficial bacteria. Um, I tried salt. I just could not get that nitrite levels down. And I was kind of in that boat a few few days ago, um, and actually probably about seven or eight days ago actually, um, when um, I was using SAFE and I saw this spike of nitrites and I was like, man, what is going on here? Um, because everything else had been cycling pretty good and everything looked pretty good. Um, so for me, I was like, oh, is SAFE effective because I kept blowing you know, high levels of nitrate. And I may still be cycling my tank a little, um, but overall, um, you know, the levels have been pretty reasonable. So yesterday, I went out to the fish store and I got Prime. Um, and uh, I put some capfuls of Prime into my tank um, and it dropped the, the levels down amazingly. Um, and uh, I had been using SAFE up to that point for every water change and I was doing, you know, a 50% uh, water change. I even tried a, uh, you know, maybe six or seven gallons I bled off um, and uh, we still was blowing high nitrates. Um, so I decided to do this comparison. Both products are effective, but it appears to me that you need to use more SAFE than you need to use Prime because Prime takes down the nitrates level much better than SAFE. Both do it good, but SAFE seems to take longer or I found that I was over conditioning the water to try to drop those nitrates out and I still was not, was still was struggling. But as soon as I introduced Prime, 
it went right down and as you can see um, in a second I'm still blowing 0.25 nitrates but I want you to see the difference between prime and safe okay so I have some fish water it's the same thing that I use I'm just going to fill these containers up Approximately do about the same level. Yeah, there's a lot of videos that that were out there that were saying, oh well. You can't overly condition the water. You cannot, you know, you cannot do this or that. But I was really concerned, um, you know, what was really happening there, um, and because uh, I just couldn't get the levels down. Um, so I'm going to do my test. here. And we will wait five minutes. Okay, so five minutes is up and uh, for my nitrate test. And as you can kind of see, it's kind of hard. It looks kind of blue um, on the camera, but actually it's still blowing some purple in there. Um, and it's about 0.25. Um, and now I'm going to add safe and prime so you guys can see the difference. Yeah, it's a little bit more purple than I want to see, um, especially when I see other people's levels in aquaponics and just to kind of see how they do. Um, first, the prime, I'm just going to do a cap full. And I'm not even probably going to even need to use the whole, the whole thing. As you can kind of see, it's a full cap. And I'm just going to take this pipette here. And I'm going to drop, I didn't even use half. I'm just going to drop a few in here. See how it kind of dissipates the color right away? And it's starting to turn blue. You know, and I didn't even use the whole pipette. Pretty much it's turning blue. If I use the whole pipette, it'll probably be almost clear. Okay, so now I will move over to Prime. And Prime, it's a quarter of a teaspoon for 75 gallons. Okay, so for 75 gallons, so I put this guy in here and I'm just going to drop it in. I'm dropping the whole quarter, the whole, the whole thing in. I'm going to give this a little shake. And I'm going to give this guy a little shake too. And there's some prime still in there. But as you can see, both products are working great. They both reduce the nitrates, they both re reduce ammonia. Uh, but for some reason, it seems like, and it's hard to see on the camera, it seems like, and it appears that safe is just a little darker than prime. And I didn't use a whole lot of prime to almost bring it to that same level. So whether I'm right or wrong, but to my system, for some reason, it takes more safe to use than it does with prime. Prime, I can do a couple caps in there and 
the nitrates go right down. Um, so I'm not really sure what is going on there. Um, if one is, you know, both products are great, both products work just like they say. Um, but for some reason in my system, Prime works a lot better and quicker. Um, I also found that it seems like when I use Prime one day, um, that the tank's levels stay the same. Where I find safe the next day, um, kind of the same amount, um, is, uh, is just a little different. Um, still not really toxic to the fish, but um, just a little um, higher than I would like it to be. Many of you are really good at this stuff. Um, I am not. I'm not an expert by any means. And I can only comment on my system. Um, so if there's anything that you guys want to add or anything like that, I never really saw a comparison, side-by-side -side comparison. Um, like I say, both products are good. I don't think I would use any other product um, because it appears to be working good for my system. Um, as far as my system is concerned here, um, I'm going to kind of pan over to my little system here and uh, come out a little so you guys can kind of see. Um, this is kind of just an experiment um, and it's kind of been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying um, working with the fish, I've been enjoying working with the plants, um, and uh, I got this Mr. Stackies, um, and I put some uh, clay balls in there, um, there's a technical term for it, um, but I really love the results. Now most of these plants, let me zoom in a little, most of these plants, um, you know, they kind of look a little spindly because it is a newer system, but most of these plants have been completely um, grown from seed. Um, the lettuce on the top there it seems like it's have a it's going for a little bit more light there um, which I understand. Um, like I said the system is not perfect by any means um, but I'm really impressed um, because most of the time I usually have the thumbnail of death when it comes to plants and fish and so forth. Um, so um, there is no green thumb for some reason for me um, but I have been really pleased and impressed with how everything is growing. Um, the only, there's some drawbacks to this system, um, there's some other uh, amazing designs out there um, that you guys have put out there on YouTube, which I love. Um, but the one thing that I have, the drawback from this, is because it's a constant flow system, um, that oftentimes, um, you know, there's pr plenty of nutrients coming in from the fish, but um, you know, I, they seem to be, you know, leggy and all my plants seem to be running up to the light. Um, and I think that's part of the reason for, um, you know, just not having enough light in here. Um, but like I said, it's just kind of an experimental system. Um, so, um, you know, um, when I look at some of the other things that are out there on YouTube, I'm amazed. Um, and uh, I will go into a little bit more detail um, if you guys want about how I, you know, made this Mr. Stackies. Um, just let me know in the comments and uh, we should be fine. So this is Timothy Leeds from Aztec Aquaponics. Hope you have a great day.